Hello, welcome to the video. So it's time to finally do some dude. I've gathered some keys here. Now you see I have stacked them in ones here. You don't actually need to do that, but I thought it would be more funny if we can see them diminish. I might have to stack a few just to have room for the loot itself. If you have a full stack, you can just pick it up and then head into the portal. And before we summon him, let's buff up and get some. I guess we can get the attack one. We're gonna get the drop rate one. Ah, well, since we are actually I can't uh, fit in more. 6.5, 1.3. There we go. This does not consume the duty phone. Can't a guy just be dead for five minutes anymore? And uh, let's kick ass. There we go. He's down. Oh, we can't. Yeah, I'm gonna have to merge a few of these. Here we go. Thankfully, he doesn't drop any items. Many different items, that is. You can see here we gained 19 diamonds. Now, back in the day, you could get like 50 diamonds if you had a high enough drop rate. Now it's pretty much maxed out at 19. If you remember my video where I showed you how to use the duty phone, I got 21. Since that time, he has lowered the drop rate even more from 21 to 19. And there we go, another portal. I think I'm gonna lock this one so I don't accidentally drop it. Maybe same with this one. Just turn me once again. And get two shot. Cardiovascular. We already have it high level. We got a max 88. And we got a 56. Okay, so you can't drop it here. We gotta stand a bit closer. Would you mind I'm trying to be dead here? I'm sorry. You are undead already. Okay, so you can't stand here either. You gotta aim a tiny bit at least. Unless you're the toilet delivery man, you shouldn't be here. Oh, finally. We got something good. We got the pants. These are my first time getting them. Trimmed rune plate legs give defense. And we have a armor upgrade stone C. I used to throw away these, but um, apparently these guys are the best ones. So don't throw away the C. And you use them for crafting as well. I mean, the killing part goes pretty damn quick. It's more the go in and out that takes a long time. And we get a few easy kills here. I'm starting to realize something. It's kind of annoying to do it this way. I think I'm gonna move. The to the phone to this page. Here we go. This will reduce the micro a bit. And get one shot. Well, shit, here we go again. Got our second upgrade stone C. Stop coming here. It's extremely annoying. How about no? We have 200 gems so far. This is, of course, the number one way to gain gems. You can actually get a giant spore cap here, green mushroom. I haven't got it myself, but I saw a screenshot of someone. You can make the head with the pants. I mean, that just makes sense, you know? I think I will give Pick and Axe the helmet. Not so sure about this one here. Weapon power three. Weapon power four. The boss ring is better than the e-front ring. Oh man. This auto toggle thing you gotta do is pretty annoying. I guess I don't have to use Oh, do you know? I can just hit him. Here we go. We got another pair of pants. And we got another cardiovascular. 72. We don't want any 72 here. We got an 88. One shot. Oh, another pair of pants. I uh, feel like we're getting a bit too many now. Not sure what I'm gonna do with all of these trimmed room plate legs now. Oh, another pair of pants. Suddenly we have a lot of them. Remember how happy I was to get one? And now I'm just complaining about them. Slapped his head off. Not the most exciting boss fighting here, but we shall continue. Oh, we missed him. More pant. We have 2.6 drop rate and we killed our weekly bosses. Well, I guess we gotta continue. How many gems do we have? 380. Not bad. And get wrecked. We got another pair of pants. They are taking over my inventory. I was gonna do all of my eyes here, but eh, we shall see how it goes. Well, this card is actually pretty good. 80% total drop rate. I think most other drop rate cards only give 12. That one will be useful when I'm farming or something. I don't know, maybe I should put it on right now, actually, since we are farming technically. I don't think we need a damage from. Let's remove the RAM for now. 2.78. And one shot. We didn't really lose much damage from not using the ram card 
Okay, I think this is going to be the last one on camera. I will just stop recording here and I will cut to the end, I guess. I think I need to watch YouTube or something while I'm doing this because this got boring fast. <laughs> Still don't have that one red rope of mine, huh? No, I got it. Lots of them. And we're back. This is my final dude yet. I we go. Let's use that one and let's see if we can one shot him. Yes, we can. And there we go. These are the result. We got eight armor upgrades to OC. 21, two hour candy. 27, one hour candy. 1,178 yams. 34 small balloon. 78 cookies. A bunch of mystery upgrade stone. 124 Ethan tomb key. 224 hour candy. And 11 4 hour candy. 10 pair of pants. Luckily, they were even number, which means I can probably make more than one helmet here. Oh, it needs golden eyes. Uh huh. I used all my silver eyes and ghosts for this. So that's great. I guess I'm not making an e font helmet this episode. I have two ghosts and how many eyes do I left? 49 eyes, so we just need to start farming the ghost again. We are good to go. Well, let's put in the candy. This is my current collection. I still haven't gotten a 72 hour candy, but one day I'm sure it will happen. Now I don't have room for... Right, let's get rid of these. They are useless. And let's use our gems. How many do we have? 3,400. Not sure what to buy. Maybe one of these. Can assign one extra player to this cauldron. Also have 1.5 high liquid cap and 1.5 faster liquid region. Yes, let's buy that one. And let's buy that one as well. I feel the liquid is one of the biggest bottlenecks in the game. Now it should go a lot faster. I think I'm going to move these to this one instead. Bookstaff, Bible Thumper, the Maestro Man. Uh, actually, you are the wrong person. Bible Thumper can hop in here. Well, for now, that's good. One random stat, three defense, and three defense. Yes, I'm going to sell these. Goodbye, Summer Armor Stone. You won't be missed. You know what? Let's actually use some candy here. This is why I always say my candy. Just in case you need to farm something. Put some shrines down. Let's empty the anvil before we use a candy. Four hour candy. There we go. Thank you for that. And let's empty it again. And we're not getting any ghost. There we go. We got a ghost. Let's use a bit more candy. More candy. Well, we don't have room enough for the last piece of candy. Unless we do it this way. Ta-da! Empty bag. And we got another two ghosts. Well, it's decent. We have six ghosts now. Let's see here. All right, we need to make the eye. Wait, I can craft from storage. One, two, three. Thank you. Tunix and the stone. Here we go. We got an E font helmet. Oh my god, it's so ugly. <laughs> ah. Oh well, maybe I will get used to it. I'm just gonna use these stones to. Well, I don't want to gamble with a unique item like this. We got 56 defense and 5% drop chance. That sounds pretty good. Now the question is who shall inherit the helmet. Lots of people using crappy normal helmet. The golden one. Mr. Barber Papa maybe. Then again, he's only fishing. But he got to carry on. Uh, did I put the helmet in the storage? I don't think I did. You know what? Take a pair of pants as well. All right, he's a fisherman. He doesn't need pants. Here we go. We have a new barbarian with a blue hat. And that means we can get rid of the gold helmet. Pretty sure we have one sitting in here already. Yes, we do. I'm going to see which one is better. They are exactly the same. And my storage is bugged again, so I'm jumping over every other chest. So yeah, we have 138 boxes. Let's put that in, into fishing. I guess I have to find a way to get rid of these pants somehow. Are these better than E font pants? 50 and that 20 and 10. Hmm. They may not be so useful. Oh, I forgot to empty 
the storage after each candy, but oh well. Seems their only use is to be used in the crafting of this helmet. I will only save two for now. Actually, I only need one. Honestly, how many more of these will I craft? Not that many. I'm just going to check these guys. I think they have Amarok. No, he does not. No, he does not. And no. Is there no one using crab pants here? And this guy also have replacement. Hmm. Okay, it seems no one actually needs these pants, so... Oh my god, they sell for nothing as well. Yeah. I really hope they're not used for something very important. I'm sure there's an OP stamp that uses them. And with that, I think we are done here. We gain an extra weapon power. We got a bit unlucky with the upgrades here. We got a lot of Agi and luck. We don't need any luck. Like, come on. That sucks. If you just move them, you also lose the powers, you know? Let's just kill this guy so I can see what I'm doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, there we go. Now we have all the shrines. There were only seven of them, by the way. And yeah, we killed a lot of dude. We maxed out the card as well. We got a lot more drop rate. But I think that's pretty useless on these guys. So I will. What is better? 6.8, 1.3. 6.5, 1.30, yeah. For now, the RAM is better. I still haven't gotten the ring from the RAM, even though I killed 257 of them. 2.6 prop rate or something similar, which means I haven't been lucky. But I guess I haven't been unlucky yet. Now I just need to get the damn Baba Yaga card. Still 18%. You need five more cards. Hmm. I guess the max is 20 when you have. She's war as well. I think it's time to end the video now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah, now I can wave to you. <laughs>